and stand up for me right here. You're gonna face that way. Are you gonna have your eyes closed? And what I want you to do is you're gonna march, march in place with your eyes closed like this. Cool. And then you're gonna stop and keep those eyes closed. Okay. Stop marching and continue looking straight ahead. Awesome. So one of the things that we're gonna notice with her is that this right shoulder is up slightly higher. You can even see that there's a slight rotation occurring in this way. There's a slight discrepancy. Right hip is going to be slightly higher and then the left glute is going to be lower down than the right. So you can see that there's postural distortions occurring throughout the body. And if we take a look right now, she's got a nice posture because she's at the chiropractor's, but I'm going to guess that otherwise that head would be forward. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Whenever we, whenever we start up the exam, we always just take a look to see what we can see. And once again, you can see that there's a rotation that's occurring in her hip there. It appears that it appears that in her thoracic spine there's some rotation occurring there. It looks like she's holding more of her tension on that left side. So these are all great clues that we can add in to you know, get a more accurate adjustment and get just get better overall results. When we take a look at Yadi, there is a slight discrepancy in her leg length as well, so that right is going to be slightly shorter than the left. And if we check in that second position, that is going to be evening up. Perfect. Then big deep breath in. All right. Awesome. Cool. So what we're noticing with Yadi here is that there's going to be restriction on the right side of her SI joint. And it's also persisting down this lower side as well. So what I want you to do, Yadi, I'm going to place my hand on your sacrum here. You're going to keep this leg as straight as possible. You're going to lift it up nice and high, left leg nice and high, and back down, perfect. And then right side, back down, awesome. Right <laughs> side, perfect, so bring it all relaxed, cool. And what we're going to do here, we're going to adjust the, her sacrum here, because most of that restriction is lying there. You're going to take a big deep breath in for me, and then all the way up. Perfect, let it relax. One more time, big deep breath in, all the way out. Nice. Oh. Yes, <laughs> awesome, face up. Good. Let's go ahead and have this side facing me now. Okay. Perfect, we're gonna place that right there. And then right there to help pause. Breathe it all the way out. Nice, all the way up. Oh. Wow, that was the one. You gotta go face down for me. Let me just make sure your legs are nice and even. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Perfect. Let's retest that on you, okay? Go ahead, right, uh, right or left leg first, whichever one works for you. And then back down, right side. Perfect. Nice. What did you notice? Uh, my right side was better this time. Yeah, leave. Perfect. I'm just gonna breathe and relax. It's the right way here. <laughs> awesome. Everything just breathing, relaxing right there, all the way out. Nice. You're so tense, girl. Just let it out. Let it out. <sighs> breathe it out. Nice. Oh wow. Wow. <laughs> Other side. <sighs> Bring that all the way over here. Everything, oh, just breathe it out, let it relax, nice. Oh, oh my goodness. Whew. Big deep breath in. Oh, yeah. Big deep breath in. Oh, yeah. yeah. In the other area here, her thoracic spine is very locked up as well, and there's lots of tension that's building up here. Keep in mind, if you have tension up here, the likelihood is that it's gonna travel down all the way here as well. You're gonna go ahead and take a big, big deep breath in and all the way out. You're gonna keep doing that for me, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust multiple segments here in our thoracic spine to open that up. She's gonna keep taking big deep breaths in and let it all the way out. Perfect. And let that relax. Now, when we take a look, her legs are gonna be even. The shifting in her hips is gone, and this is starting to look a lot more balanced. Now, Yadi, when I poke in here or here, 
Wow, that right side hurts less. It hurts less, okay. Wow. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Face up. We're gonna take a look at it because that connects C1 to C4. So we're gonna see if there's anything that remains in our lower circle spine that we want to clear out. And for all the, the pop and crack addicts out there, there may not be any juice left in here, but we're gonna go ahead and get some motion. You're gonna let that relax. Focus on dropping your shoulder there. Boom. And then chin up. Oh, nice. nice. Let that relax. <sighs> We're gonna oh. loosen the ankles and the hips up. Perfect. Come on up. Yadi, is there anything you want to tell them regarding massage, chiropractic, posture? What's your message to the world? Uh, I would definitely get adjusted over a massage. Absolutely. Well, hey, I think it's great. I think it's great to do both. But keep in mind that massage is pointless if you're never gonna change your habits and you're constantly gonna be like this. You can get all the massages in the world. It's a temporary. It's a temporary band-aid, yeah. right? What you need to work on, structurally, if your curve is going the other way, you definitely need a chiropractor. 